Hello, today I'm going to walk you through how to log into Clever and Schoology to get to the art classroom. Um, I've already logged into Schoology. You will use your S number and the password provided. And you should have your homeroom teachers page uh, up here. You may also have mine. This is my teacher page, so it may look a little different. You're going to click on that. And then you should see an S that says Schoology or Schoology. If you've already logged into Clever, it should save your username and password. <clears throat> Once again, you'll use your S number and the password provided. You'll click on Go to Schoology. And for you, when you open yours up, you won't have a ton of art classes. I only do because I'm the art teacher. Um, but yours should say homeroom and um, maybe math, reading. You should have one that says art. So yours will say whatever grade you're in and art. And <clears throat> I'm just going to click on kindergarten to because it's at the top. And every time you come to your art class Schoology page, it will look like this. And if you have a button that says remove, don't click on that button. You need this right here. This is an update that will stay here. And you can click on each button. This one's to meet Miss Graves, more information about me. This one's to email me directly. Current assignments is what we're going to look at first. You'll click on that. And every time you have art, there will be a lesson. This lesson is for a two week period because I see students every other week. It will tell you what we're going to learn that week and you will click on this button. And this class has already had their Zoom in person or not in person, but their Zoom uh, live instruction. So I upload that here and I'll do that every time so that um, families can see the Zoom call, even if you were not able to make it or if you need to review something that we talked about. And then the assignments will be listed below. So welcome to art is just what we're going to do when students arrive to art. A reminder about the Zoom guide for art if you're on Zoom. <clears throat> and how we need to behave while on the computer. And then this is an activity, a breathing activity I call rainbow breath. In every class we talk about our art class mantra. We repeat it um, so students can read that. There are also buttons that have me reading it so uh, parents and families don't have to um, do this with your student. They should be able to be independent. Um, normally on each page I'll have a little black house and you click on that to go back but we're just going to go back to lesson one. <clears throat> and each week students will have a sketchbook assignment. I will assign that um, for the student to do when they are not in uh, live instruction. There will be a participation um, for students coming to the live instruction um, and also your student will just automatically get the participation when they do their assignments. So I'm not going to penalize students who cannot come to live instruction. I know that there are special circumstances with um, our distance learning right now, like families may be um, working and uh, students might not have access to internet at the times that I have live instruction. Um, and then there will also be normally an art project. Um, so after the two week period has ended, I will move that lesson folder into past assignments. So should you ever need to access it, it will be in past assignments. To get to the Zoom meeting, um, we are not allowed to give out the Zoom link. We have to go through the Zoom meeting um, on Schoology. <clears throat> so again, here's a reminder how we behave in art. Um, and then 
that when you click on this button here with the little like ruler squared, it will take you to the Zoom meeting and yours might say join meeting or I'm not sure. So you would click on that, it'll come, it'll take you to that meeting. There will be a waiting room. If your student is not assigned to come to art at that time, then they will remain in the waiting room. <clears throat> if they come early to their class, they may also be in the waiting room. And then if they are really more than just like five minutes late, they'll likely be in the waiting room until I'm able to um, let them in. And that's just because I've already started the lesson. Um, so please just be patient and um, I will let them in as soon as possible to return. So student resources, oh, these are just the same. They're folders for the buttons. Um, art room, this is a resource for your students to use on time, on days when they do not have art class um, and on Fridays for the asynchronous learning. Um, once the page had fully loaded, you could, it's done it now, but there's a little bar. Um, you can press on this. Welcome to Miss Graves Virtual Art Room. Click on the Welcome to Miss Graves Virtual each page has a recording of me reading what is on the page um, generally this page has a lot on it so um, and students can click on different words and images and they will take them it'll take them to um, another page so um, they can explore here um, there for instance we'll go to games and they can click on the speaker again it'll have me read to them and then each image is a different art game for them to return click on the house to go back to the art room except for on that one it doesn't do it. i don't i need to fix that um and then they can go click on something else so say they're interested in doing um maybe they're learning about line in their um, live instruction and they want to further their learning they can come and learn more about line by watching these videos and then here are some um, additional lessons that explore line again I would be I will read this to them um, and they can go back to the elements of art with the green button oh I don't know what does that okay I'm gonna have to fix some of this but you get the gist of it press the black house to go back and so on. Um, then sketchbooks, your student should have a sketchbook that they got with their supplies. Um, in addition, I've made a digital interactive sketchbook so that they can um, have me read. I, I will read it to them because this is what they will work on when they are not in live instruction. So they'll be able to be independent, hopefully, with this. Um, just click on the sketchbook to open it. Again, I will read it. Sometimes there may be an arrow here because there might be a page in between the tabs, like, for instance, here. Um, and again, there are the speakers, speaker buttons where I will read to them. So I will assign the student their pages at the end of their live instruction and it will be listed in their assignment for the bi-weekly bi period. So I'll click on the next one and so on. Please do not have your student work ahead. So just have them do what I've assigned. Um, and my other thinking with this is that if the student has just joined Avondale, um, they can still participate uh, even if they don't have their sketchbook yet. Um, if you are new to Avondale or you have not come up here yet, um, then I have those here for you. You can just message me or email me 
And then if your student for some reason leaves their sketchbook somewhere, um, like leaves it at daycare or their grandma's house or whatever, but they need to get their assignment done, they can look here. They can do the assignment on a piece of paper and submit it that way. Um, so go back. And then la the last thing is parent information. And this is where you'll find the syllabus um, and grading, what your student will learn. Um, and then I'm going to have some video tutorials just like this one in here. Um, I'm also going to, I forgot to mention, I'll go back in the Zoom button. I'm going to put a schedule so that your student will have a calendar telling them what day and time they have art um, and their other electives. Um, if you need to message me, you may also click on this button. It goes, it sends me um, notifi notifications for these messages that I get. I get them. I get a notification through my email, so that's just as effective as this button. I'm, I might take this button away eventually. Um, and that's about all. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I look forward to seeing your student soon. Bye-bye.